Hi guys, um, as you can see I've got my passion planner sat in front of me this morning. Um, I did do a plan with me video for Edinburgh Design Team Challenge week next week. Um, but I didn't realise that my camera froze about five minutes into it and so it didn't really get anything at all. So I just thought I would start this video by showing you um, how I set up my week in my passion planner using the nettle flexible kit. Um, as you can see at the moment the week is quite minimal. Um, it is half term week next week for me which I am super super excited about and I love this kit mainly because of the orange in it as we can probably guess um, and also because of this gorgeous little robin sticker down here. I would love someone to do a Christmas themed st set around robins. Um, so Rachel if you're watching this hint hint um, that's something I might like but that's just me personally. So, um, if I just talk you through what I did quickly, I've got the headers at the top which I trimmed as normal and I used the orange washi underneath. And then because it's half term week, I decided to go back to the, um, the priority tasks at the top using the stars just because my mornings are a lot slower in half term and then I've just put stuff out. Um, so I thought I would start by showing you that and then I'm sorry if you can hear the wind in the background, it is absolutely blowing a hoolie outside and it's kind of coming through the cracks. So anyway, um, I thought I'd try another bullet journal plan with me this week. Um, so this is my new bullet journal, which you can't really see because I believe the colour is blending in with the background on my desk. But this is a extra large... A extra large and extra large, sorry, uh, moleskin um, that I have used before for notes for lots of different things. And I thought I'd try it out to just try some bigger spreads again. I kind of liked using stickers in my bullet journal, even though it still feels a little bit wrong. So I thought I would try that as well. So this week, um, again, as part of the design team challenge, Brighten Up Autumn. Um, I'm going to use my other autumn -y kit from Rachel, um, which is the Woodland Wonderland kit. Um, and I'm going to try, this is the flexible kit as well. Um, I'm going to try and create a spread in my bullet journal using this kit. So a while ago I did use a flexible kit in my bullet journal um, when I used a Nuna notebook. And I quite like the way it turned out. It was quite nice but what I did then was I turned it horizontally and so I had the headers that way and this is just a little bit bigger so um, I'm, I've not really thought out how I want to do this this is kind of just a I'll put stuff down and see where it ends up and if I like it I like it and if I don't I don't but I thought um, the way I plan at half term holidays is a bit different to the way I plan most of the time so I do a lot more daily check-ins and I sort of review the day at the beginning of the day a lot more effectively and I review at the end a lot more effectively so I thought I would give it a go and just see how I get on. Um, I love this header strip in this kit, this is one of my favourite things about this kit um, and as you know from my mini happy plan with me the other week the other thing I really like about this kit is the orange flower um, so yeah that's a lot to do with it. Um, I'm going to put one of these event labels at the top of each day just to kind of oh am i yes i am i am i decide that in advance just to kind of have a little starting point to each day um so i can have a little look maybe see like a priority or event that i need to be aware of so a bit like in the passion planner where you have the focus for the day I kind of thought it would be a little bit like that in my head is how I planned it out um, but obviously the spacing on this I'm still trying to work out a bit so we'll see how it goes um, yeah the main reason I got this as I said got a larger bullet journal again is because I'd had two bullet journals for work and um, one for work one for home and it was just it wasn't really working out for me so I've gone back to trying to do one for everything and at the moment because things are getting a little bit <laughs> overwhelming for me on Sundays so let's face it um, I thought having a bigger spread means that I can 
have a lot more space to record what's going on and go into fine detail if I want to. So that's the main reason I did it. Um, so I'm going to do this. So yeah, as I've said in previous videos, I love orange kits and that's a brilliant thing about autumn I feel is having all of the orange because there's never enough orange in my point of view. Um, <laughs> I know some people are going to be going why are we still talking about orange um, and my friends will tell you uh, I don't stop talking about orange. That simple. So that's kind of like an intention, a focus not quite sure really at the moment I just kind of like the idea of having a starting point up there um, hab habit tracker I'm not da, 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 not habit tracker hydration tracker hydration tracker stickers I have got sorry I've got a running pile of all my functional stickers that I use the most at the moment um, it's half term so I'm not really going to have any work stickers put down hydration stickers that's what we wanted I'm going to pop these down next where I can Maybe not those, I think I'm going to have to go with these. So these aren't going to match exactly, but they're good enough for me. Oh, now I'm going to have to turn it upside down. One thing I haven't still, haven't quite got used to yet is the fact that you have to kind of... I haven't got used to how I want to turn my this journal when I'm planning. I think that's the phrase I'm trying to poorly say. Um, I'm going to throw in a little bit of sort of lavendery purple as well because this, the words, the flexible kit for me I think is a lot more pinky than the other kit. Um, so I have got the full kit to use at some point and actually what I might do, because I've used my flexible kit here, I might use the full kit in my passion planner. Um, and that is... There's a lot more purple in that, I think, and a little less pink. So, it all depends on how you plan with it, doesn't it? And what you want to put where, and how you end up laying things out. And that's why our planner is our planner, and we can do what we want to do with it. Um, so I'm going to use some grey in here as well, because I think that works. And this colour kind of works bizarrely. So I'm going to pop that on the end. So it's kind of a bit, it's not perfect, it's a bit higgledy-piggledy, never mind. Um, and then the other thing I decided to do, this is kind of me stacking and priorities for the day at the top, I suppose. Um, I'm going to use these little, sorry, I'll turn those the right way. Um, these ones to mark my um, carb count for the day. So as I'd said in my other video that failed, you may notice... Aside from the fact I have my nails done again, and I love them, and the light isn't quite picking up how holographic they are, unfortunately. Um, I'm not wearing my ring that I normally wear. Um, my lovely ring that my friends identified these videos as my videos by. Um, I have lost quite a bit of weight, which is a good thing. It is a good thing. Um, and in my last video, oh, hold on, light. Can we see how? No, we can't see. Sorry. I'm getting all excited about the holographicness of these, but never mind. What was I saying? Yes, my last video, you may have noticed that I had moved my ring from my middle finger to my index finger. This is purely because it no longer fitted on my middle finger, and it now no longer fits at all because it is too big. So that is a good thing for the week. Um, kind of feels like this week's gone a little bit crazy, haywire, not to plan lot going on, a lot of stresses, a lot of strains, not feeling fantastic, fantastically brilliant in a lot of places, but i got a new planner to play with and set up, so that always makes life better. And by that I mean this one. So that's kind of the, the top of my day. So either like a key event or task up there, haven't quite decided yet, but I liked the idea of doing that, hydration, and then my carb count for the day. So then we're going to go to these lovely little stickers here. Um, now, how many do I want to do? I think I'm going to start with the sevens and see how that goes. 
because I think seven is actually probably a good number at the moment. It's not too many, not too few for a half term. So we'll just try that and see how I feel about it at the end. Because why not? Although I could, hold on, hold on. Come on. So why would I have removed four stickers? and I can just peel them up. I'm going to run this little strip along the bottom just to separate out my tasks um, from everything else. And I'm going to leave a tiny bit of a gap, maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, that works. That works. And I mean, this is this is the thing with the bullet journal is that, you know, your setup is how you set it up, and if it's a bit crazy, a bit all over the place, so what? Because there aren't a, the guidelines aren't as rigid as they are in a fixed planner. Um, so if this was my my happy planner or my own Condren or my passion planner, I would be lining it up exactly to the lines, but hey ho. I'm just going for a vague estimation with this and I think actually putting this in makes it a lot easier to line up the star checklists um, because it doesn't matter if they're completely out of line with sort of this bit here so there we go that's the first three I quite like that um, I've got another seven and then I might have to trim down my longer ones so there we go um, so this is this is actually kind of taking up a little bit more focus than I thought it might do and I think that's just because it is you know a new kind of setup really for me but hopefully one that I will enjoy Okay, so that is there, and there we go. There's an Erin Condren Sorry, I was trying to find something to cut with because what I want to do is kind of line up the end of this checklist when I trim it, just to see how it goes. There we go. So I'll pop that back on here for now so that I can come back to it, and then I will do the same. So yeah, as I said, half term, love half term, half term holiday is always good, um, means I can catch up on myself a little bit, have a bit more me time, catch up on all the other things that I'm behind on, like my dissertation, and other coursework, and the house, and you know, the general adulting things that quite often go out, out the window as term drags on and on and on and because we haven't seemed to have had any time at home recently either so there we go now what i'm just thinking as i'm putting these down is that i've not sort of counted to check if any of these columns are sort of even i've taken a very rough guess and what i'm already thinking is perhaps because of the way my brain works that trimming the headers like i do on my passion planner might be beneficial for me just because I know then that I've lined everything up nice and neatly rather than just taking a guess although now I've turned it around it doesn't look too bad so that's that's my checklist I think I'm going to leave seven I think that's fine you know the joy of the bullet journal is if I need more space I can always set up a daily instead I'm then going to run these bits of washi underneath just to separate it out a little bit more. And then just thinking about what I might do next is I might just take a fine liner and run dividing lines that line up with the edge of the checklist down the bottom so that's clearly separated as well. So I might do that and use this one. This is um, 
Stadler Tri Plus Fine Liner. I have tried my Angel Gel pens in the, on this paper and they don't work well in this notebook. But that's fine because they still work really well in my Passion Planner and my own Condren and everything else. So this new bullet journal will definitely be a fine liner slash biro book, so to speak. Um, you know, it is thinner paper than the Leuchtturm. So you can see pen through it a lot more clearly than you might be able to in a different notebook. So going through and setting stuff up, I could see the pen a lot through it. But that's fine, you know. It doesn't bother me too much. Um, so I've done that just to separate out my days a bit. And they're not all even, but I might work on that in a future spread. Um, I need to put some dates in, that might be helpful, mightn't it? Um, so, Monday is the 23rd? Where's my phone? My brain is completely gone confuzzled today. 23rd. Yep, that works, okay. So that's my headers, that's the division. The only appointment I've really got this week is for the opticians. So I'm going to use that one. Opticians, that's the two. And I know, you know, the way Rachel's designed this particular kit with the PC hourly in mind is that you can kind of like stack these in amongst your checklists if you've got an hourly planner. Um, I don't, I'm just going to pop it, leave a bit of a gap, pop it in there. Oh, squeaky chair time. Um, that's the only real appointment that I have the whole of next week. Yeah. So, other things I want to pop in, I want to pop in this little Time to Plan sticker on Thursday, and I'm actually going to overlap that down here a little bit. If I can get it lined up where I want, that's it. Stick that in there. Um, Saturday, we'll do a washing day. Um, stick that in there. And then, oh, Wednesday's what's new Wednesday, isn't it? How did I nearly forget that? What's new Wednesday? A little squirrel face sticking out there. Wednesday. Don't stick it on Thursday. You want to stick it on Wednesday, remember? Sorry, I have started talking to myself this week. A sign that half term is really ready to be here. Put a little penguin gel up there. Oh, I can put that on Tuesday. Do I want to use a plainer one? Tuesday, I'm also going out with my mum for the day because it's half term. And that's the sort of thing you do at half term, even when you are a grown adult, you go out with your mum for the day shopping because I have no work clothes left that fit. Um, which is a good thing, I will remind myself. So I shall do that. And that is all the plans I have at the moment. Now, do I want to kind of express the week somehow. So, just having a look around. I think I'm going to stick with my biro, to be honest. And just do a really simple, no fuss. little bit up there and use mm, mild liner just to highlight it just like that um, banner banner I'm not gonna put hello I'm a banner on here um, I was tempted to name my banner this week 
because I didn't know what else I was going to do with them. Maybe call it Katie. I mean that in jest, Katie, obviously. Um, I'm going to use a full multicoloured strip down here. Because there are quite a few things coming up at the moment that are sort of reminders for the week that aren't day specific. So I should do a this week banner. I could do a next week. Or I could do a highlights. Let's do a highlights one. So I'll stick that down there. Yes, I know it's really close, but I'm okay with that. And we'll take a five. A five will just fit. There we go. So we'll take a five. Stick it in there. And put highlights. And that is it. So, as I said, this is the Woodland Wonderland Flexible Kit. So I'll just shuffle that in. I'm still getting used to having a bigger planner again. Um, this is the Woodland Wonderland Flexible Kit, which I have used to design this week in my bullet journal, my new bullet journal, um, for the Design Team Challenge this week which is using the hashtag EBDUK Brighten Up Autumn. Let me just find that out in here. I've written it down in my passion planner for this week. There it is. Hashtag EBD Brighten Up Autumn. Obviously all in one line, but I couldn't put it on the sticker. Um, and yeah, join us. Plan your week using an autumn kit from Rachel. Um, I said I've used Nestle in my passion planner. I've used this one here in my bullet journal and I really like how this has turned out actually. I wasn't quite sure what I was going to feel about it when I'd finished but I like it. I think I can work with this. Um, also running this month, don't forget, there is the photo challenge um, using the hashtag EBDOctChallenge I believe. Which, you know, if you've missed out a few days, catch up, block a few photos. I admit I'm terrible at keeping up with photo challenges. I find it really challenging, but I'm going to keep up. I'm going to have a block photo day next week, hopefully, and try and take all the photos that I have missed out on because I'm terrible at things like that. So, as I said, join us using your kit in any planner and use the hashtag EBD Brighten Up Autumn, as I've just said. I've just repeated it, even though I didn't need to. Um, I will hopefully get two videos out next week, guys, because it is half term, and I like getting up more during the holidays if I can. Um, so I will speak to you then. Happy planning!